Hello my dear listeners my name is Kishore Ganesh and in this episode of the Vocal About Visuals podcast I'll be sharing a lot of mixed emotions about Arsenal's 3-all draw at home versus Southampton this isn't a movie tv or animated podcast so if it isn't your cup of tea I do apologize normal content will continue on schedule but if you do enjoy this leave a comment or send me a tweet or reply to my insta story so that i can hear your thoughts about this podcast and about the event it is about so here's what happened in the previous two games us the arsenal scored two goals and then lost that lead in this we or should i say aaron ramsdale thought those levels of emotional roller coastering for himself the team and the fans was insufficient so he needs to take it up a notch so he decided he should assist a southampton player to score a goal against arsenal in the first 27 seconds now i am making light of the situation because yes it is infuriating however we still have the rest of the season and a good 5 to 6 years worth of great football to come from this arsenal team and in particular from ramsdale so in that context my opinion is to yet again invite a title winner or a psychologist or even ian wright for that matter to talk to this team or even yell at them to stop doubting themselves and instead to go out there and live out their potential because their potential is massive there is no denying that coming back to this game from the first minute when that calamitous goal went in arsenal were not the usual arsenal we have seen for the majority of the season there was no control that we could exert on this game we put tremendous pressure on southampton mid second half but if you think about it broadly we just went out there with our sleeves rolled up and wanted to swing madly to attain our goal and that's why i love this performance because we may have not been able to mentally or logically been able to impact this game but we did impact it with our heart and effort the last two games against liverpool and west ham we tried to go too cold which for a young team is very hard to pull off so instead my idea was to lean into the heart and effort which then gets tempered with cold logic we have been missing that balance over the past two games but in this game we got the heart but lost our heads that said we are at least course correcting this team and the manager and i believe that this is something that has to happen to all great teams unlike a madrid or a barca or a bayern which are monopolies or duopolies and worse have a sickening dynastic feel to them arsenal is not a team where no matter how many new players come in they become nothing but a part of the machine arsenal is as much about the players and the manager even now as it is about a great historical club so we will learn this particular part of a very tough lesson and we'll be better for it when we were 3-1 down arsenal of the past would have tried sure but wouldn't have managed to muster a result but this team could and that's evolution i think these lessons can only be learned when you find yourself in these situations like a title run or a european trophy semi final or final no amount of coaching or explaining can teach you all of that so we have learned a lesson but on wednesday slash thursday it is time to stop learning and start doing against city let's see how we fare there before i end this podcast i want to register a huge gripe i have against the refereeing that happens in england no one is ever happy with the referees fair enough but if that's because it is the nature of the job then it's cool no one should ever stupidly mistake people's rightful unhappiness with an entity that makes people unhappy with its ineptitude with the unhappiness that comes from being a fan and hence having an inherent bias in this match southampton played the entire game in patches not phases patches if you say all teams do that including arsenal so why shouldn't southampton do it fair enough but there is such a thing called a limit 
beyond which it ceases to be a football game and instead becomes a clownish affair and this was such a match the southampton goalkeeper bazunu took about 15 to 20 seconds for every goal kick yes you can do that if you're preserving a lead once twice maybe thrice it's gamesmanship but to do that over and over and over again this combined with southampton players getting cramps and falling over on the field like we little babies throughout the second half meant that i don't reckon we even played 60 to 70 minutes on the whole and then came the injury time of 8 minutes and honestly because of the previously mentioned reasons we didn't even play those fully and not once throughout this match did the referee's hand even remotely head towards the yellow card for the goalkeeper this being the same league where big gabby and martinelli have been sent off for talking for god's sakes are you freaking kidding me bazunu might be the name of the goalkeeper but it was bozo the clown who was running the show on that day pathetic all that said and done i want the exact same treatment in our favor when we go to man city if you're saying time wasting is a part of the game then let all teams do it uniformly and stop penalizing only certain teams for it and not the others let's see on wednesday i hope the footballing gods smile upon us on that day come on arsenal you can do it i believe in you once again my name is kishor ganesh this is the vocal about visuals podcast and thank you my dear listeners for your time and for listening please do give this podcast a follow on your preferred podcast platforms and on youtube you can follow me on twitter and instagram at podcast plural where i post the links to my upcoming episodes memes about mega serials and also my beloved arsenal fc thank you Thank mm-hmm. you.